Okay, let's figure out the first part of the question that we have to set up an equation that relates x and y. Gets given that y varies inversely as x. So the first part is y varies inversely as x. Remove the sign of proportionality and set up an equation that is y equals k over x. Okay, now we need to figure out the value of k. Just plug in these two values of x and y in this equation. y is negative 6 and also x is negative 6. So we have to figure out the value of k. So we need to multiply negative 6 on both sides. This will be cancel out and k equals to negative times negative 6 times negative 6 positive 36. So this equation, this equation will be y equals 36 over x. Okay, so this is the solution of the first part of the question. Okay, now we need to figure out the graph of this equation. For this, we have to set up the table of x and y values. Okay, let's set up the table of x and y values. Just we have to take a bunch of x values and we need to figure out the corresponding y values. Let's take x equals 2, 4, 6, 12, and 18. Okay, let's figure out the y values. Substitute x in this equation, you would get y equals 36 over 2. Okay, and the y would be 18. For x equals 4, you would get 36 over 4. And y equals 9. For x equals 6, you would get y equals 6. For x equals 12, you would get y equals 3. And for x equals 18, you would get y equals 2. Okay, now we have to plot these points in the coordinate plane. So the first one is 2, 18. 2, x is 2, and y is 18. 10, 15, 16, 17, and 18. This is 2, and this is 18. So these two points will be right over there. Okay, this is 2, 18. Okay, the second point is 4, 9. 4, 9, 4, 9 will be right over here, 6, 6, x is 6 and y is also 6, it will land right over here, 12, 3, 11, 12, x is 12 and y is 1, 2, 3, the last one is 18, 2, x is 18 and y is 1, 2, okay. Now simply we need to we need to connect these points. So the graph of the equation will be just like this. Okay. So you you have to you have to pause the video, just you have to Plot the negative points, take, just take negative x values like negative 2, negative 4, negative 6, negative 12, negative 18, and you would get corresponding y values as negative 18, negative 9, negative 6, negative 3, negative 2. And then you have to plot these negative points in the third quadrant, and just you have to, you have to connect all those points like this. Okay, I hope it makes sense.